hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to control status bar using buttons in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so in one of our previous video we have successfully added the status bar for the appointments so in the screen you can see an appointment record and in this header section we have the status bar so currently we are controlling the status bar by manually clicking here in the status bar so here you can see currently this record is in draft state you can see the highlight and if i need to move it to in consultation i can simply click on here and once it is done i can click over here so we are controlling status bar right now by enabling the clickable attribute for the status bar but in odoo if you see the sales module if you go to the sales module and if you open any of the records you can see this won't be clickable mostly it is controlled using buttons here here you can see how confirm so once i click on confirm you can see the state has been changed so whenever we have a predefined set of states we will make buttons to control this control the states so when now you think when we why we can't keep the status bar clickable so in Odoo normally when we keep the status bar clickable when we have the values dynamic so if you go to the project module so here you can see in project module if I open any of the task so here you can see we have task and if I open this here you can see we have the states and if you check its field type so in the tool tip you can see the field name is stage ID and it is a mini to one field so in our case the field is a selection field so the values are static so here the fields are dynamic suppose if i need to create right now if you check we have one two three and four states that is new in progress done and cancelled so if i need to add more stages i can come here and i can create a new stage done final or just i'm adding a dummy state and i can assign for all which all projects this state has to be visible so i'll add all the projects over here and if i come back to the same task you will see the state over here so in such cases we will be keeping the status bar clickable and to change those state but inside our appointment the states are fixed that is our field is a selection field so what we will be doing is that we will be going into the pie charm and here we have the custom add-ons and here we have om hospital module so first of all i'll go to the appointment.py file so this is the appointment model and here i have the state field you can see we have the values draft in consultation done and cancel and if i go to the corresponding view that is appointment form view here you can see this is the appointment form view and this is the header so i have defined the state in the view with widget status bar and i have enable options clickable equal to one so this is responsible for the clickable property so if you remove this you won't able to click and change the state so what i'll do i'll remove that attribute first control x and i'll keep it here as a commented one so once you refer the code you will understand the thing so let me keep it commented over here i'll keep it commented over over here so what i have done is i have removed the clickable property from the field now i'll go to the ui and let me upgrade the module and see the difference so right now you won't able to control the state using clickable status bar so right now this is in done state and you can see we are not able to perform click so in that case we have to add buttons here so we will be adding buttons and we'll be controlling the states so i'll go to the pie charm and here you can see this is the header so inside header we have to define button so first of all i'll add button name action in consultation so let me add one button action in consultation action in consultation then string i have to give a string in consultation 
let me add the string consultation type i'll give as object so once you give the type as object we have to define the python function so simply i have added one button now i will duplicate these and i will add so what all buttons we need we need a button to move into in consultation then to move into done state and to mark it as cancel so we need three buttons so let's add three buttons so action in consultation action done action cancel so once you define the button name so what we are going to do we are performing some action so just try to add the button name with action cancel action done action like that that is the common syntax we followed in Odoo. so if you search for this you will see a lot of samples such a buttons action done action cancel in xml you will see you can see a lot of samples so if i yeah you can see a lot of sample is coming action done action cancel action draft so these are the common terms whenever you move to a record into a draft state give the name as action draft whenever you move a record to cancel state you can give the name as action cancel like that you have to follow so that's the naming convention that you have to follow then here i'll change the string as mark as done mark as done then here i'll give the string as cancel so we have added three buttons in the header with type object now what we have to do we have to define those functions in the python level in the corresponding model we have to define this function so a button of type object will call in python function so i'll copy these and here inside the model i will define those buttons diff like this i'll keep for rec in self so what i'll do for rec in self in order to avoid the singleton error then what i have to do i have to do change the what i have to do so on clicking this button the code execution will reach here and from here what we have to do we have to change the value of this field so i'll copy the field name rec dot state equal to what value i have to give this value so in consultation will move the record state to in consultation so similarly i'll copy these functions and put it over here let me duplicate control c and control d i'll put it here then what i have to do i have to define this function action done so action done what we have to do we have to move to done state so here i'll put this function will move the record state to done then action cancel the last function action cancel which will move the record to cancel state so we have defined three functions in the corresponding model now what we will be doing we'll be restarting the service and we will be upgrading the om hospital module so i'll go to the apps menu from here i will upgrade the om hospital module so the module has been upgraded successfully now i'll come to the appointments and if i open the appointments you can see we have three buttons in consultation mark us done and cancel so currently here you can see the state of the record is done and if i click on cancel you can see it has been moved to cancel and if i click on in consultation in consultation if i click on mark us done it's done so you can see the status bar is changing according to the button so we are controlling the status bar using the buttons so now we have done but there is a question whether we have to show all the buttons simultaneously suppose if i am creating a new appointment for the patient uru maids and if i choose the doctor and i'll put priority three and if i click on save what is the first action that we have to perform in consultation so first from draft we have to move to in consultation so the consultation process will be done then only we have to mark it as done so we don't need to show mark as done now so mark as done has to be shown only when the record is in consultation that is what i am saying is 
right now when a record is in draft state we don't need to show this button so let's see how we can control that so if you go to the pie charm and to the corresponding view so here you can see we have button so there is an special key called states in Odoo for the status bar we have a key called states and we can say here in which states this button has to be visible that is if you add states equal to and if you specify some state so i'll put the state name in consultation so simply i'll put states equal to in consultation so this button will get visible only when the record is in this state so let's upgrade and see the difference so i'll just duplicate this tab and i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade the module so once the module is upgraded when the record is in draft state you won't see mark as done so this is appointment triple five and from here i'll come to the appointments and where is triple four appointment today that i have april one and if i open you can see when the record is in draft state we don't have mark as done earlier this is i haven't refreshed this page right now here in the old screen you can see mark as done but once you refresh it will get disappeared and it will appear when the record is in consultation you can see in consultation it appears again so once you add status that is you can put comma separated status like this then the button will be visible only in either in consultation or cancel so right now i'll keep markers done in in consultation and in consultation button has to be visible when when the record is in draft state so i'll put status equal to draft so this button will be shown only in draft state then action cancel has to be shown when states it's equal to then the record is in draft it has to show during in consultation also it has to show so i'll put like this so let's restart and let's upgrade the module and see the difference so the thing that you have to take care is once you give this those button will be visible only in this state so let's upgrade the module and see the current flow so the module has been upgraded and if we come to the appointments and if i open this or let me create a new one i'll create a new appointment for pineapple with priority two and with dr john matthew click on save and here you can see in draft state we have in consultation and cancel button so the currently the draft state so i started the consultation so the doctor will click on this so you can see the status is in consultation so the checkup and everything is going on and once it is finished you can click on mark as done you can see the record is in done state and you don't have any state so this is how we will be controlling the status bar using buttons in Odoo. also if you have a record in, in consultation we have cancel button here so if you click on cancel we should provide an option to reset it back to draft state maybe in appointments or some booking there is cancel may customer call back and please reopen that booking so we should have an option to set back to draft so in that case you can add one more button action draft action draft and i will give the string as reset to draft reset to draft type object and it has to show when when the record is in cancel state so i'll copy this state and i will put it over here cancel now we have to define its python function so what i'll do here i will add a function diff action draft i will iterate the self over a for loop in order to avoid singleton error rec dot state equal to draft so i'm setting the value of rec is a record set of this model and writing its value as draft so let me refresh and let me go to the ui and let me upgrade 
OIM hospital module. So you can see the module is getting upgraded without any issues. And if I come to the appointments and we have one canceled record here. And if I open that, you can see we have reset to draft button now. So on clicking that, the record will be moved to draft state. So that's done. Now what we have to do normally, once you can give class OE highlight with a button in order to highlight those buttons class OE highlight. So the button will be appearing in a blue color class OE highlight. And let me copy the same and in consultation and I'll give for this button also and also for cancel button we will not give we will be giving highlight for a positive actions like in consultation the, those good actions like canceling we are not preferring so like what I can say where user can click more cancel is less chance so you can don't need to highlight that then what you have to do then you can enable tracking so we have to enable tracking for this field also that will be good so i think we already have enabled tracking for other fields so right now here i will add tracking equal to true also tracking attribute for the doctor so we will be getting those changes reflected in the log section so let me restart the service and let's upgrade the oim hospital module so i'll upgrade so what we have done is we have added OE highlights for the button and if I come to the appointments and I'll create a new appointment for Apple with one priority, two priority or one priority, Dr. Joel Wills, some description you can add, test and you can HTML feature or test fever. I'll give like that and I click on save. So hospital appointment created and the record is in draft state and I'll do you can see the button is coming in blue color in consultation in consultation and mark as done done you can see it's done so this is how you can control states or status bar using buttons in Udo so I hope this video is understood for you if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us in the email that is odumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you